Hey guys, CJ Brick Studios here, and this is going to be the first video of a new series we are starting called Facts and Figs. A really interesting name. And in this new series, what we'll be doing basically is showing you Lego minifigures and telling you a bunch of really awesome facts about them. So, yeah, let's get this video started. Okay, guys, so this first guy. It's called Maliki. He is um, the owner of Jabba's Rancor. He is um, in the sixth movie. And so basically the reason he has the Rancor is the Rancor once saved his life from the sand people. And, um, and now, he's, now he keeps him as a pet. And then in the sixth movie, if you remember, the Rancor gets killed by Luke Skywalker. Sorry, guys, I didn't um, say it's kind of a spoiler alert. Well, but, most of us have already seen the movie. Yeah, if you haven't, then you have to go watch it. And then um, he, he cries openly. He had been planning to betray Jabba to the rival gang boss, Lady Valerian, and leave with the Rancor Beast. After Jabba's death, Mal Mal Malakili teams up with the palace chef and opens a successful restaurant in Mos Eisley named the Crystal Moon. And yeah, also he um, used to work as an animal handler in a traveling circus. He became an outlaw when one of his dangerous circus beasts escaped during a show on Nar Shada and killed members of the audience. After this incident, Malakili was sold to Jabba the Hutt. So, that was the first minifigure, and now the next one is not really facts about him, but is a theory about, me and Josh came up with a theory about Ewoks and how they're evil. So, let's get started with that. Take off him, put on Wagre. Who is, by the way, the chief of the Ewok tribe. Yeah, he's the chief, and he has a bone on his head. It's a cheery skull, I don't know what that is, cheery, but... Yeah, and, um, yeah, so me and Josh's theory is that Ewoks are evil, and we think that because they're killing machines and they eat people, and we think that because, if you remember, when the clone, when the stormtroopers come in the sixth episode, they, um, bring a bunch of, they have a bunch of weapons already prepared, like axes and spears and traps to smash people alive, um, made out of wood. And all, why would they just have that there? I mean, unless they're killing machines, they probably wouldn't have a bunch of weapons just prepared for a battle that's probably never going to happen. But also, they um, eat people alive. And if you remember, in the movie, they take a bunch of the heroes like Chewbacca, Han Solo, and Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker. They take them to a fire pit, and they're going to eat them, and then C-3PO... Um, saves them, and then um, they also have a bunch of hollowed out stormtrooper shells at the end of the battle after they killed them, and they use them for drums. I'm pretty sure that they ate people, and they use the helmets, but that's just a theory. But it is a pretty strong theory, and uh, me and Josh believe in it very, very well. And yeah, that was the end of our first um, video of the new series, and let's let Josh conclude it. Well, there's also another thing about the Ewoks. Oh. Since they're cuddly fur balls and they look really cute and harmless, if you if you get if lured you, into them, then they'll you'll think they're cute. You go to pet them, they kill you and eat you. That's probably what happens. Which teaches you a really great lesson about how looks can be deceiving. Don't play with furry little puff, puff balls that you find in the street, kids. They could be Ewoks and they could kill you. So yeah. So that pretty much concludes our video. Um, if you if you liked the video, please give us feedback in the comment section. Like and subscribe if you really liked it. And then we hope to do more of these videos. We'll see you next time. CJ Bricks signing out.